Okay, so this is really exciting and interesting. So it's gonna remind me a lot of my past experiences about dating foreigners. So here's the questions that I got from my subscribers and from my friends too. Because they keep asking me, hey, what's your experiences about dating foreigners? Is it, um, do you like it? Or, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot. So I put it here, so I'm not gonna get lost. Okay. So let's start here. How you met him? So I met him on Filipino Cupids. So it's a dating site where you can find your partner. So maybe your partner is still there and searching for you. So make it make an account there and who knows? Maybe you will find each other in that site. Okay. So the next thing is how the relationship started. So okay. So after a couple months of chatting so finally we met he visited me here in laguna because you know i think that foreigners don't expect you to come and visit them in for example in other country because usually filipina is just waiting here in the philippines usually i'm not saying that it's it's impossible because there are some filipinas who is capable of you know traveling around the world if they really want to meet someone they can but not all pinay i'm very sure of that because i am one of them okay so did you live together no we didn't live together full time so it's just visiting each other's place so sometimes i'm in manila um and then sometimes he stay in um laguna so that's it and maybe the reason why we didn't live together is because I don't cook and I don't do the laundry so maybe that's one factor so I know that usually I mean I think that Filipina is you know very famous about doing things like this like to do the housework but I'm not like that I don't know but maybe I'm just not good at it but I know I can learn about it and embrace it okay this is interesting what you did together on the average day being together um we love visiting new places because usually foreigners like to visit you know something new they love to travel so sometimes you know i go with i go with him and we visit places that we're interested to know about or to visit Okay, and sometimes we are watching movie. Usually they like to watch movie. Um, three, um, we love visiting restaurants. We love trying different kinds of food and then talk about that food, what we don't like, what we like about this. And then what do you think about the restaurants? I mean, is it clean or does it look, I mean, what about the service? Something like that. So we used to talk a lot of different things. Yeah, that's the good thing about having, you know, like a smart partner. You will learn from them. Okay. You know who you are. <laughs> okay, so other is like, uh-huh. Well, aside from that, I just want to add something. Like we talk about our expectations, about what we have in the future. Like, if we're gonna live together, this will be the arrangements and what we don't like when we're together and what. You know, sometimes we also talk about what is good about you, what is what you don't like about me. I mean, something like that. So, it's just sharing our thoughts in different things and, you know, situations. So, okay. And, actually, I don't know. I've, about this next topic... And of course, this one, this is, oh my gee, this is one of the most tough questions that I have to answer. I admit it's not easy to, you know, to share some experiences about cheating. Well, um, there are different kinds of cheating, and it's really hard to prove that someone is cheating on you. Sometimes you just have this cut or this, you know, like a hint that someone is cheating on you, but you don't have proof. But it is just a feeling, so... First, what you have to do is do some research. Yes, I did. Um, you know, like exploring his phone while he is taking a bath. I know, sounds sneaky. 
but when if you when you have this feeling it's hard to be you know it's hard to just sit down and be paranoid so well i know it's you know you have to have some privacy sometimes but yeah i did and gotcha someone is cheating right so yeah that's that can happen um like you know you have to be a good observant like this um oh my gee i'm sharing a lot of experiences like i have this attitude that um i'm very observant of this is what i've seen the last time this is placed here so i'm trying to think like oh why is it here now like for example um he don't cook so all of the things that is in this cabinet should be here unless you cook but you don't cook so why is it here someone cook for you who visit here something like that that can happen right okay let's move forward okay so why you broke up and how you broke up okay i'm gonna answer why why you broke up um it's just like adding small different things it can be a big reason for breaking up with someone so it's like you have this small issue and it's not your soul that is not being addressed yet and hey this one is coming again so another issue 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 until you get tired because no one is willing to make some efforts on how to resolve this problem so one of you will get tired of it and that can be a good reason to you know live in the relationship because you have to work together to make this relationship last for a long time and another reason for breaking up can be like um because you don't see the future together like for example i see myself with kids and i'm married and we're working together to make our family have a better future but he don't like that so that can be a reason for not being together because i think it's like you're just wasting your time because you will just you know you will just be in a different in a different journey i mean you can't be together if you have you know different goals in the future unless one of you is willing to sacrifice his goal or of what he wants but he's not gonna be happy it should be the two of you happy i mean being together right okay so they still have questions okay so what happened after you broke up what happened back to single right so that is what happened so i'm just trying to enjoy my life being single because you know when you get married you have some kids so it's not gonna be the same again so i think it's time for me to do whatever i like now that i'm single again okay another question is are you religious mm, is spiritual yes religious not really i don't go to church every sunday but yes i visit church even if it's not sunday i go to church when i have something to be thankful for when i'm when i feel guilty when i feel sorry you know every time i have this feeling that hey i want to confess something i want to express something i go to church and i pray okay okay so why do foreigners have to meet the filipino parents right away so okay this is just for me i'm not saying this is applicable for everybody because you know it can happen that they want to meet your you know they your family but still they don't have good intentions like they will still gonna shit on you that can happen right so but for me if they want to meet your parents um your family they have good intention and they respect you they respect your family they respect your culture because it's our it's it is in our culture right 
that they have to meet your family first before you start, you know, dating someone. Even with uh, Filipino, right? We want Filipino guy to meet our family first, right? So, foreigners have to do it as well. No exemption. Okay, so why don't Filipina women like to wear bikinis? Um, because I'm not used to it. We are not used to it. Because I have some friends that don't like wearing bikinis at all. Well, I tried it and I'm not comfortable wearing it and walking around the beach. Like, oh my god, it feels like everyone is watching me even though they are not looking at me at all. It just feels like that. So I'm not comfortable wearing bikinis. Period. And because um, some Filipinos, they are too judgmental. Maybe that's another reason. Okay. Um, what kind of habits do Filipina women have? Mm, chatting. Um, internet. Surfing. Um, what else? Um, going to dating sites. I, I don't know. I don't know what other Filipinas doing as a habit. Um, but for me, I do, I do like talking. I do like meeting new people. I do like spending time with my loved ones, with my friends. And what else? Um, I do some baking sometimes, but it's not really something that I'm passionate about. But I just like to, you know, to do it sometimes just to... Um, just to make my life not too boring, I think. Okay, so what are your thoughts on sex tourism in the Philippines? Jeez. Okay, this is a sensitive topic. Well, I don't want to talk about it that much, but okay. So, sex tourism in Philippines, um, I just heard, I mean, I talk with uh, some guys on uh, dating sites and then uh, you know they're thinking that there is a lot of Filipina here that you know they are willing to have sex with someone just for money but not all not all well others is thinking that you can get that free well yes and um someone i know that someone is willing to fly like 26 hours just just to meet a girl just to have mm, you know and there are guys that are that is willing to do everything just to remove your panties something like that so girls please um you know you know what to do I, I don't know I don't know um can I can I go to the next question please okay so gosh I'm trying to escape the last question but hmm I get this question okay so do Filipina women enjoy making love uh huh making love so it's different from the other one huh so you know what I mean so the question is enjoy making love my answer is yes i do enjoy making love but for some women i know that they are not really into it because i have some friends they are not really into it and then she said that she don't like it but it's just it's making love so love if you love the guy if you love if you love him so maybe you're gonna enjoy doing it i don't know why they don't like it so my answer is not all girls like it so but many many still want it still enjoy doing it what not to enjoy i don't know oh my god maybe my mom will gonna watch this so good luck to you hey so listen to you okay uh let's go to the next question why do filipina women always worry about taking care of their families well we are very family oriented i mean we are i mean it's in our culture i think 
and we love our family i mean we want to take her our family we are we are just such a loving person i don't know i mean maybe the good answer for this is we are family oriented and when someone cares for you a lot you want to give them back i mean you want to take her that person too something like that we are raised like that okay what are your expectations when dating a foreigner mm -hmm. my expectation okay my expectation is this that he will love me faithfully he will marry me we will have kids we will work together to have a good future we will spend the rest of the we will spend our life together something like that that's what i'm expecting well i actually don't expect the guy to take care of my family well this is my responsibility not his responsibility it is fine if he wants to help my family but for me it's not it's not his obligation okay so how do you feel about dating older men well i don't see anything wrong about it as long as you love that guy go why not right i mean you love that guy so who cares if he is old well personally i like guy who is older than me i'm not super attracted with guy who is younger than me because it feels like they're gonna you know they're not gonna be so serious and then they will find better girl i don't know but for me i i was thinking that it's more secure to have like older guy i mean they are more matured and uh, you know they are more responsible they have more i mean they have a lot of experience and uh, you know just you're more secure if you're with them that's how i see it i think many people think that if the guy is old he is already financially secured and your life will be secured as well so well i know that not every foreigner is rich not every foreigner have a good 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 life so i can say that not all foreigners are walking atm so yeah mm, what else okay and that's it thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you still have some question don't forget to leave a comment below and i will try my best to answer all your questions so see you next time